Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number seven of exercise eleven point four. And question number seven says, if each edge of a cube is doubled, then you have to find how many times will its surface area increase. And in second part, you have to find how many times will its volume increase. There are two types of solving this question. First type is. you can check these conditions by assuming the edge of any cube suppose in your classes you are uh, uh, you can suppose it as x but here it is not good to suppose as a variable but it is better to suppose a number so let the edge of any cube be equal to 2 cm you can suppose this as 3 4 5 6 or any other number as you wish and you have to double this so obviously the new edge should be equal to 4 cm now you have to find how many times will its surface area increases okay let's find what was the original surface area so the original surface area of a cube is basically 6a square so it should be 6a is 2 and 2 square so 6 into 4 which is 24 cm square so the original surface area was 24 cm square now let's find what was what is the new surface area the new edge or you can say the new side of the cube is 4 cm so this formula for the surface area will remain same but our new edge is 4 and this is square that is 6 into 16 so this would be uh, 6 6 are 36 3 this would be 96 Centimeter square. So clearly, our new area has increased four times. Initially, it was twenty-four, and now it is ninety-six. So obviously, uh, this uh, new area is four times of the original area. If we multiply this with four, we'll get this. So the new surface area will increase four times. so this will increase four times now let's find what should be the volume okay original volume is basically a cube and original side was 2 so it would be 8 cm cube and the new volume must be again would be a cube and now our a is 4 so it should be 64 okay now our initial volume was 8 cm cube our new volume is 64 so of so obviously our volume has increased eight times so our volume will always increase eight times so this is the first way of solving this particular question it is better to assume any number rather than any variable say x y z okay the second part is uh in this case we have to uh, remember something that the perimeter you know that what is the perimeter is directly proportion to its dimensions dimensions are basically the length breadth and the height and perimeter is basically the outer boundaries for any particular figure and area is directly proportional to dimension square and volume is directly proportional to dimension cube and we know that what is directly proportional directly proportional means if we increase the value of its perimeter so clearly its dimensions should be increased 
So this is what Dirichlet proportional means. And in this relation, what we are going to, uh, what we are trying to say is, if I increase dimensions two times, dimensions are basically the sides which are edges. So if the edge is of the cube is doubled, so obviously dimension are increased two times. So we are saying this is directly proportional to its perimeter. So its perimeter should also be increased two times. So this is clear relation. If we remember these three, so we will be able to find without supposing or you can say without without calculating any values. Now, what would be the area? Here we are saying that area will directly proportional to the dimension square means if the dimensions are increased two times, so area will be dimensions square. So area will increase four times. This is clear. Now, if I am saying I am increasing dimension three times, so the area will increase three square. So the area will become nine times. And if you are increasing dimensions four times, so area will be increased dimension square which is 16 times. So area will increase 16 times and this will keep on increasing or you can say this particular relation can be applied to any given number. Now let's, in this case it was, edge was doubled. So clearly the surface area was increased four times. So clearly we are able to find by this method also instead of supposing its values. Now let's say let's find what how much times how many times the volume will increase. In this case volume will increase the cube of its dimensions means if the dimensions are increased two times so the volume will increase eight times. Now, if the dimensions are increased 3 times, so the volume will increase 27 times. So, this is how we can find the relation between these 3 terms. And clearly, here also, because the, the, the dimensions are doubled, so our volume was increased 8 times. So, here also, if I increase dimensions 2 times, its volume is increasing 8 times. So this is how you can solve this particular question either by this method or you can remember this and that would be easy to solve this question. Thank you.